Hello, hello to all the amazing people. The Nimmer here with some more Tainted Grail Conquest. Don't be alarmed, this is the game mechanic. Game looking like this. I can turn on candles to remove the scary, scary things. <laughs> Anyhow, we are playing a Zealot on difficulty 6. Uh, we are doing really, really well. I'll show you the runestones really quick here. If you know a little bit about the game, this is what we are using right now. And this is the deck. We managed to thin it out a little bit, but as a result of that, my um, my health pool is severely decreased by the courtesy of our friendly neighborhood witch. So yeah, last time I was running around the weirdness a lot and we actually found uh, two quests. We found two quests, so I'm very happy about that. Uh, I will actually now like do the milestones. I'm gonna ask for a blessing. Yeah. Actually, no. Let's just wait a little bit more. Uh, let's do the. Let's do the. Where is it? The old mother's altar. We're gonna smash it. We're gonna grab all the cash here. It's a little bit crazy, but. Shrine has faint traces of power. I'm gonna. Uh, we're gonna rob the shrine. As you try to force the priestess to comply with your will. She begins to speak. Her incomprehensible so, words yeah. she and cursed us. dripping through dried reeds. As you struggle to understand her, she disappears into the weirdness. Oh, we actually got a lot more gold than I thought. That's because of the difficulty we play on. We get more. We get more money. I also think we got some bonus from the seamstress as well. Uh, and yeah. Let's go invest and let's see what happens. We're gonna have a little bit left over for the blacksmith. I decided to favor the quest here over the over the runes, uh, rune dust. The investment is gonna be worth it. Yeah, let's see. I'm gonna invest a, a large sum and then another large sum, another large sum, another large sum, and then four small ones. Thank you. This is wonderful. Now my shop, our shop, prosper. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It all belongs to me now, dude. Okay, I think it sells more stuff now. Yeah. Okay. Um. That's pretty good, I guess. Two turns. Two turns. I think since my HP is so low, I might want to pick up some more warding lures. Yeah, I think he sells better stuff now at lesser uh, prices. Now, that was like a huge amount of cash, but I think when uh, all is added up, it's actually pretty worth it. Yeah, I think so. Okay, um... I mean, this is also damage, right? Yeah. Although, like, in what scenario will we not have enough barrier? I mean, the, the final boss will grow pretty fast. So I don't know. Like, acid flasks. It's like, you already have three. So yeah, I want to have like a monster turn against the final boss where we just like throw a whole bunch of stuff at him and like do as much damage as we can. That could be like first or second turn or something like that, I guess. Although I also have a feeling that we might be able to shred his armor over time. But it's also going to become more and more hard to do anything. And I don't know why I'm trying to get such a high score since I have so many things still left to unlock that will make me more powerful. I'm obsessed with the idea, and there's really no reason to be so obsessed with this idea. Let's uh, buy one of these, I guess. Now we have like, what? It says three. Let's buy one more. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, we do unlock more cards if we do it, so... Okay, uh, let's start burning some candles also. Uh, let's uh, ask for a blessing. Please do give me armor increased. Okay, that's not what I wanted. Can we even see by how much? We can probably see at the candle maker actually. 
well, I should not be unhappy because it's better than nothing, right? And then here, I mean, I want damage, but oh, there we go. That's good. Let me see. Can like, yeah, it's not visible here. Okay. Now, we do have some extra candles, so you would have to, like, bear with me for a little bit longer. Uh, let me see, what does the armor have? Good day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Acid bombs, okay. Loses 50 armor this turn. Okay. That's scary. It really is. So now I'm turning uh, the candles into tallow. That shouldn't take too long. And yeah, and I'm gonna go for the true boss. Uh, you know what? I'm actually gonna put... A, I hope I remember. Put a uh, break point below the video. I should start doing that more. Like, so you can click on it and... Oh! There. What I don't want right now is I don't want a fight. I want a... Uh... uh I want to have my buffs for the for the proper boss. So yeah. So yeah, when these candles burn you get tallow. Tallow is a meta currency for the candle maker and the candle maker among other things makes the milestones stronger. So it is definitely something you want to get eventually. So that's what we're doing right now. It's interesting how this game progresses from one way to play it to another. So when you start, you have very little candles, so you usually just want to take candles from milestones. But then as you unlock, like, the ways to gain more candles from, like, bosses and start with more candles and all that good stuff, then you actually uh, transition into, like, grabbing bonuses from milestones or healing more and more often. Which I think it's kind of a cool thing. Uh, at least I like it. This game keeps me interested because, like, well, one thing is I still didn't play all the classes, obviously, and the and there's still quests to do. But another one is like to see how it like evolves as you get stronger with meta progression. You can do like crazier and crazier things. Let me see. What do I actually have in my inventory? Yeah, I'm not gonna be using these, obviously. And Gnoft food will not be able to use anyway, so before we forget, let's actually equip all the things that we want. Definitely this one, right? Yeah. We can shred his armor by a lot. Not very useful anymore. Human lever. Too bad we didn't get in a spot to actually use those. Fully charge your ultimate ability. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. So we're going to be able to hit him with, like, full charges. Okay. And you know what? Let's let's go to the town. Okay. I guess since I was a little bit slow. I wonder if I need another candle. Do we actually need candles in the boss fight? I don't remember. I'll buy a candle. I'll buy one candle. And we also do the blacksmith thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hopefully I don't get destroyed in the fight, though. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Oh, I'm stupid. <laughs> when you're next to that thing, you don't actually lose it. I'm like, why is this taking so long? Like, you're probably like, Neomare, realize it. Realize it now. And I indeed did realize it. Okay. There we go. Let's go back to the village and time to talk to some people. Okay, let's start with our fellow candle maker uh. here. Nothing to talk about. So we could improve the strength of your candles for 40 tallow. We can make them run longer, which is not really that useful. Initial weird candles, we can start with one extra one. Yeah, this is like a lot. So we got 15 armor boost 
Oh, plus 45 for the next battle. That's pretty good. Plus 60% damage also. Oof, nice. So... Do I want to... Like, I probably want to increase the duration of weird candles. That will give me more currency, right? How many more times can I even upgrade that? We can start with an extra candle. I don't think that's that great. 160. Ugh. This will take a while to level up, dude. Like, this meta currency is in this game. And then look at this dude here. Yes, I'm training 40 hours per day. I can choose a card for 100. I mean, this will give me shreds, right? So to unlock duplicating a card, that would cost me 500 shreds. We are getting there. And we can pick a card to restart every combat encounter with. Okay. Throw more cards every turn. This one's also really good. One extra card each turn. That's just broken. Throw more cards in the first turn. Yeah, we're gonna go for this one. One of these expensive ones. Okay, then let's go to the blacksmith. The blacksmith is... Okay. I wonder what this is. Transmit three of your runestones into one of the same rarity. I mean, I hope I can choose, right? This is actually free. Okay. You would hope, right? So let's see. Never did that one before. I'll be disappointed if it's like, you know. Okay, so let's see what do we have here. Okay, that's good. Um, Stan. So we got two of these. We got two of these. All right. Yeah, I don't really have. Yeah, I have one gar. So we would not be able to get anything flawless anyway here. So I guess I could like transmute three of these. You know what? I can buy a rune. Wait. The blacksmith. Oh, we can buy a stand. That's pretty good. Good. Okay. I guess. I'm using the Polish man. I guess I could combine Polish man, Ethel, and Crack Tear and pick Agar. Oh, wait, what? Why is this one? Oh, it's just selected. Okay. Wait, Flawless Ethel. Oh, wait, we have two Flawless Runes. Hello. Each card plate increases your damage by 15 this turn. Okay. And then these are rare ones. So we got three cracked osses. Okay. Two cracked osses. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking, let's see first what happens, right? Polished man. Oh, we could go with this one. In weapon slot, every turn increase, but like this will increase bosses damage by a lot. And our damage, not so much because we get like hundreds and hundreds of this extra damage, right? Yeah. 
Okay, I'm gonna try to combine Ethel, Tear, and Polished Man into a Gar. So, Tear, Ethel, and Polished Man. The blacksmith is. So, Tear. Polished Man. And Ethel. Can we choose? We can. That's good. That's pretty. That's pretty reliable. So I can grab the guard here. Oh no. This is the second one. Oh. No, this is. Wait, what? No, this is what we get, right? Yeah, okay. So we got the cracked guard, good. Okay, I think I destroyed something wrong, but it's fine, it's fine. Uh, I wanna combine these, there we go. We get another rune dust for that. Uh, we could actually, wait. So if I make another gar, if I make another gar, we could have another gar. Like, we could have a flawless gar. We need three more runes, though. Do we have three more runes to buy? No, he doesn't, so we can't really do it. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, let's see. Uh, we can exchange rune stones. Yeah, this costs money, though. Swap one of your rune stones to another of the same rarity. Unlock additional item slot, max max 60. Yeah, I want to like unlock this thing. That's gonna be legendary. Okay, this is also pretty good. Additional armor rune slot. Okay. Right, transmute. And then shop, add one rare rune stone to the shop, add one common rune stone to the shop. Um, swap one of your rune stones to another of the same rarity. So if you get like lucky, I guess we could get the guards, but that would cost me a lot of cash. Not sure if I really want to do that. I probably want to like... I wonder if I use three polished runes, do I get a polished one? That would be kind of cool, no? Let's try. So we got tier... So I got two L's and a tier. Yeah, let's try with that. I guess. Two ilks and a tier. Okay, let's see. So transmute is probably is not, but so ilk, ilk, no, not this one. So polished ilk, polished ilk, and polished tear. No, we get cracked ones. Okay, I see. What do we have? A Kalk. Okay. So we got two tiers now. I mean, I could turn this tree into a tier, get another rune, rune dust. I guess that's not a bad idea. I mean, I mean, I'm surely going into the fight with this one and this one, right? This one's really good for the first turn. I think that's good. I think that's also really powerful. Scales like crazy. Like, I can like make a Oz here and Seagull. Oz and Seagull, yes. And what do we do with this thing? Flawless Atoll. 
I mean, I can turn any of these three. Okay. Stan, stun, guard. Okay, so this is just for run stuns. It's for run dust. Stun, stun, and guard. Okay, so let's see. Stun. Stun. Okay, not this one. This one's equipped. Uh, wait, what? Okay, I'm a little bit confused right now. So I want to create a tier. Can I use the Atel? So we got two stuns and a gar. Oh, okay, I know what's up. Okay. Stun. We can use the Atel also. Stun. So this is an equipped car. Where, where is my unequipped car? So that's a bit weird. Why is my unequipped car here? I guess we could use this one because like we have another one, but like I'm going to use flawless Atel just in case. And then I believe we need a tier, right? Too bad it doesn't tell us. So why are we doing all of this? We are doing it for rune stone dust. So each time you merge runes, so if you go here, you can see I have like 45 for rune stone dust. It's like really hard to get currency. And now we're gonna have 45. Actually, no, 46. We got two. Nice. Okay. And I don't think we can do anything with the normal ones anymore. And now let's do like anything but Oz and Seagull. So we want Oz and Seagull. So let's transmute. So we can do lore. Need. Gifu. Bert. Okay. Now we can turn it into. Oh, we can also like grab anything here. That we might need. Okay. Increase the number of your combat slots. Start a random enemy every four turns. Every turn gain two armor. For every point of unused energy, draw two additional cards. Start the combat. You lose. Okay. 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 Let's grab the Oz, right? And now we should have three Oz. Three Oz. Oh no, I grabbed the wrong one. No, I didn't. There it is. Oh, wait. Actually, we had one. No, we didn't. Wait, what? Oh no, this is the other one. After killing an enemy, draw one card. Yeah. Maybe I should have went for Fioch instead. Polished Oz. Yeah, I should have went for this one. I'm stupid. Okay. I mean, I can still do it, kind of. So I can turn these three into e Feoch and these two into Feoch, and I can go and. I can make him sell a, a rare runestone in the shop. Let's do that. Ah, uh, but then another slot. No, we messed it up. This is the price we pay. We grab this can. Okay. Why didn't I figure that one sooner? So I want two Fiochs. So turn anything into Fioch, really. The blacksmith is so sigil need and need. The fifth ones are not even here. So Fioch, right? I mean, I should recognize it by the ability it has. Yeah, this one here. Okay, there. And let's do it once more. So Sigil, Oz, and Ken. This is good because it tells us we have one equip, so we don't want to use it in case we want to merge them together. Yeah, that's useful. So Fioch. And now we have three Fiochs. Thank you very much, Blacksmith. I mean, we're gonna get those 15 back pretty soon. So we're on 34 now. 
So now that we merge this street together, we have what? 37. So yeah, we paid for it. After killing an enemy, draw two cards with cost reduced by one. Now this is really good. I think this is probably one of the combo pieces that you want for the final boss to kill his adds and draw a whole bunch of cards, maybe. I don't know. It also reduces their cost, which is pretty powerful. Okay. Right. I think that's gonna be it for the blacksmith here. Let's continue. <laughs> a lost soul. Okay, I can summon the wolf here. I can make my healing mixture stronger. Not really something that I'm interested in right now. Yeah, this thing... I don't know. The game's not as hard as you think. Game. If you get killed... I'm gonna get killed anyway. This little healing here will not help you out. Talk. Oh. What are we gonna tell her? The truth? Yes? Did you find him? Oh no. I'm gonna tell her the truth. I mean, I don't think there's much point. If she finds out some other way... Otherwise, she will keep looking for him. That's, like, really painful. She listens to your story of the burned-down house and the corpse you found inside. It must have been Aaron. There's no other explanation. Especially considering the letter you found on his body. She snatches the letter from your hands. As she reads it, her eyes widen with shock. I killed him. My experiments killed him. But, but, I, I have a family. I, I had one, at least. I, I, I need to think about this. Please, give me some time. Yeah, I'm sorry, but sometimes it's just better to know the truth. Did you have enough time yet? <laughs> Then my experiments were the cause of Master Iron's death. The hill is sitting in front of her house. Okay. What else do I not remember? Oh boy. Beyond salvation. Maybe it was you a wrong call. Seamstress approaching. You poor, poor child. Please. Why can't you all finally understand that in this broken world, nothing is exactly as it seems? So, yeah, I, I spammed F, so he is sitting in front of her house and speaking to her self. My father banished me from home because I'm responsible for my mother's death. Then my experiments were the cause of Master Aaron's death. I didn't remember any of this. What else do I not remember? Am I beyond salvation? But the, the seamstress comes. She has some insight. Let's hear it. She sits beside Hilda. Your father blamed you for your mother's death, but he wasn't there when the accident happened. No, we don't oh. was. What do you know? You were a child, left unattended when the fire broke out. Was it really your fault that no adult was there to douse it? Hilda sighs. She tries to say something, but the seamstress cuts in. He punished you by sending you away with a man he knew he could count on. And he trusted Iron because Iron was a coward. Oh? Hilda seems to be getting sadder and sadder. Nice. Yet it's a calm I mean, sadness. calm sadness is good. I'm sure he hated you at first, but he was happy about the pouch of gold he received from your father. With time, I believe he saw your potential. You have a gift, girl, and he used your gift for coming up with magical potions to oh? make money. Plenty of travelers were buying your mixtures from him. You didn't even know, did you? Oh, that sucks. All you've ever known is a man who fed you and took care of you, whatever that care was worth. And was disappointed whenever your experiments went wrong. He lost money with every cauldron you destroyed and every fire you caused. You were raised by a crook, Hildy. Snap. Iron wouldn't have died in that fire if he were conscious while you worked. It's too bad that at some point he wasn't all that interested in being conscious at all. And so you were left alone and unattended again. And this time, you were left with your talent exploited and no proper directions. You're not a witch, Hildy. You're not a woman whose purpose is to know better. Your talent has its essence in fire. And fire, fire. burns. That is fire's main purpose. Embrace it and stop lying to yourself. Hilda Vips. How do you know all that? Yeah, seems how do you? It's my job to weave and sew. Mm. Sometimes that means knowing more than one person probably should. But that's exactly what makes me good at my job. Oh. 
She turns to the girl. Sleep it off, Hildy. Tomorrow everything will be much brighter. You'll see. Thank you. You're right. I'll go sleep it off now. Fire and brimstone completed. NPC saved. Special card available. Well, can you wait just a little bit with that sleep? I would like to buy your special card. Pretty please. Third eye. Gain zero damage for three turns. Ten for each enemy alive. I mean... Sure. And let's see. Sharpening stones. No, nothing really interesting here anymore. Okay, we can restock though, but let's uh, let's get some premium currency. <laughs> can we gamble? Trinkets, charms, baubles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you want to gamble, dude? No. Okay, exchange currencies. Now I'm. We have a lot of these. Let's. Uh, oh wait, he has a special card. Mystic gamble. Gain fifty percent damage or twenty five armor for three turns. Uh. Yeah, I don't think I need that. Okay. Seamstress. What can I do? I talked with the Before spider. Before you a chance to finish, the seamstress cuts in. I know. And at the same time, you've made a powerful ally. I've met her, and I'll meet her again to help her as she gives birth. She exhales a sigh of relief. But she was content that she doesn't have to worry about my safety anymore. So, we're good for the time being. The Weaver of Tendons completed. NPC saved. Special card unlocked. Okay, a lot of special cards today. Uh, uh, upgrade your abilities. Let's see. Buy a special card. Blood fabric. Offer 10 HP and gain 4 barrier. 2 barrier for each 5 HP missing. Interesting. I don't think this is strong enough to be useful. Well... If you're missing like 70 HP, that would be 28 barrier. Yeah, that's like... Maybe in some other builds, I don't know. Well, now we have lots of blood. I think it's a good idea to increase the wealth gain. We could increase our damage by one, that's also pretty good. We could start with extra armor. Yeah, that's really good, extra armor is. Like, imagine if you had this five times. I would have 25 armor to begin with. We don't have enough cash to remove the curse. Get a random passive skill. Now that's a strong one. Okay. Okay, let's grab some stuff here. This is relatively cheap. Like, I want to go more wealth here for sure. But then it's become 400. So it's going to wait a little bit. Experience gain, I really don't feel like we need. And the weird stone gain also, at least for now. I could increase my damage by one. Not yet. Let's start with more armor and then let's save the blood just in case we get attacked by a spider. And that would be it. That would be it. Little bit disappointed by her card, but hey, it is what it is. And then, I don't know, let's go and do the final boss already. Well, wish me luck. Burn the hearts of guardians. Summon the true boss. I'll just take a look at the things real fast though one more time yeah i don't think we can do much here uh that's fine that's fine i mean we have like a strong start the deck we could go grab some more cards for cash i guess let's go grab one more card maybe we get something amazingly powerful and ultimately destructful yeah, yeah, yeah. let's uh let's Give me another card here. Deal 3 hits for 75% damage to random enemies. Deal 1 hit. Okay, gain 100 bar if your armor is equal or smaller to 25. Gain 50 bar if... Yeah, these are all bad, so I'm just going to cancel here. Did we get more card shreds for that? I hope so. If not, well, oh well. Anyhow, let's just go. 
the true boss fight. Let's see if we can top our top score so far. Ah. Right, what is this? Healing disabled, armor increased. Okay, we start with 75 armor, that's really good. And also more damage. Okay. Uh, right, right, right. Gain 10% damage for 3 turns. Okay, I should probably like switch him to the other phase. So we can play this. I'm just gonna play this. But then, yeah, I don't think we're gonna be able to get the. Yeah, we'll not be able to. Okay, never mind. This will not be that useful. Okay, uh, right, right, right. Well, we need some barrier. Well, we wanna play acid shot for sure, right? There. And I kind of need to play this just to not draw it again. Yeah, I'm gonna also play this just so we don't draw it again. It's not ideal, but. There we go. Cool. Okay, and now we do 580. How much is this? Um, not that much. Force the Ford Valor of Overlord to switch between corporeal and spectral forms. I don't think I want to do that just yet. Double somersault. Oof, we didn't even have the somersault in its proper form. So we have the tactic mastery. I guess we can just like bomb him with these at some point. Okay, let's use this thing. Okay, of course, weapon. That's really good. I mean, I really want to like reduce its armor before we go all in on damage, right? If we can. Well, we can with that, right? Yeah. Do we do it now? But this will not stay in our hand. I could do it next round, actually. Well, we're gonna need that. I mean, my biggest damage is actually gonna come from aimed shot anyway, not from tactic mastery. So maybe we play Tactic Mastery and like get a whole bunch of barrier and then next round we bomb him with these and then play aim shot. And also like use that. Yeah, it sounds like a good idea. Oh right, we want deadly last probably also. Yeah. Yeah, that didn't really go as well as I was hoping for. Do we play these or do we charge our ultimate? We can play one. Uh, this one returns anyway, so... Okay. Um... Acid shot. But then we get damaged by 16. I mean, I can use one of these, I guess. Uh, we can also shred his armor. Like, how much bigger are we gonna get? Since you already played the, the thing. Yeah. Time to shred. There we go. I think with the with the summoner we did way more right than than this. But okay. I guess I'm gonna play this anyway. Use this one to just stop the damage. Uh, use the ult. What do we get? Water shot. That's ah, like probably the worst one. 
Okay. Uh, okay, okay, okay. So now we probably do it once more. And then we focus a little bit on like shredding him. I wonder if it's better to use the old sting rather than aimed shot sting. Let's see. Let's see. Depends what we get, I guess. Oh, definitely. Definitely. This is not even the best one. Okay, look at the score go up. That's really nice. I like it. I can still do the aim shot. Wait, why is this thing still so powerful? Oh! That did not expand it. Wait, really? I could have played these also for some extra damage. I just realized it. Oh well. Yeah, I messed it up. Oh well. <laughs> and now he gets the armor back. So what we did, we did 69. 6.900. I mean, I will like continue playing here, obviously, and try to get some more damage in, but... I guess I can summon the Wolfie Boy. Call two arrows. I guess we could switch. Let's try switching. Then he like summons all those enemies, right? Yeah. I think if we kill those, like we can... Um, we like draw extra cards. Maybe that's like a stronger way to like do damage, you know? Oh, these do quite a bit. I'm thinking like what's the best play here? I don't know if you're gonna like play that again. I don't know. So here they are, and I wonder if killing them actually counts. Ooh, I actually didn't combo that thing. Mm. Draw four maneuvers. That's pretty tempting as well. But he's gonna be buffing them now, which is bad. Okay, this one's free, let's play it. Let's see. Can we kill these? If I play this thing now, yeah, so we can kill. That didn't count. Okay. So my rune is useless because it doesn't count. Okay. I think we're just gonna switch stances. Yeah, that's pretty bad actually. 919. Yeah, yeah. Well, I think in this stance at least he doesn't buff himself, right? He doesn't gain armor anymore, maybe? We'll see. We play that, play that, play that. What is he doing? He summons, okay. I mean, I could stun it. No, no, it's okay. Can we switch? We can. Oh no, he is getting armor per turn. Okay. Yeah, let's switch. I don't like this one that much. There we go. Uh, 70 armor. We're getting blasted for quite a bit here. So let's use these. Oh, this one is only for one. Okay. That's okay. There we go. Let's play that. 
Ah, uh, no, let's just. <laughs> That's okay. Wait, didn't I play that? Okay, he's in corporal form, but his friend stayed. Oof. That's not what I was hoping for. Okay. At least they don't hit that hard, but still. Oh, wait. Maybe now if we kill them, it actually counts? I'm not sure, though. Draw 10 arrows, like... It's probably a good thing to do. Yeah, that sounds a good one. Maybe we just keep them alive, so we can draw like 1 million arrows each time we pull that. Yeah, that seems like a good thing. Especially with Acid Shot. Okay, returning shot. I probably wanna do the arrow. 2x effect. I mean, yeah. There. Oh, this is a good one. Okay. <laughs> How much? Nah. Okay, we have enough, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, there's the corrosive weaponry. So either have to choose to do corrosive weaponry or that. I think I can still get him quite low if I just continue like doing that, but problem is this like I would like to play that, but then I cannot protect myself. That's the problem. 6, 12, 15, 21. So yeah. It's like this or that. I mean, I have to play feints, otherwise I just die. 10, 12, 17, 27, okay. Yeah, I guess this is the armor shredding turn. Then. Walk round. What would we draw here? I don't know. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, I'll just keep on putting the pressure on oh actually yeah I guess it's best to just do damage with the ultimate okay that's good sixteen that's gonna be okay Acid shot's good. And again, I can't, like, yeah. <sighs> it's a little bit tricky. I can't play that and, you know. So I'm, like, missing one energy. I wonder if there's, like, a way to gain extra energy. There's so few ways, though. I was hoping if I kill these, I'm gonna get, like, another card and reduce his damage by one. At least that. But the game's like, uh, nope. Uh, killing these does not count, which is super weird. So, yeah, I don't know. Okay. Oh, wait. Six, nine, twelve, sixteen, twenty-six. This is barely enough. Okay. Barely, barely enough. Maybe we can get it to 10,000. That would be pretty nice. Okay. 
nuts. Okay. They're getting tasty. Hmm. Yeah, I don't have armor shred again. I I'm, I have this one. Okay. Ooh, dark arrow. Maybe I should have played that first. No, no. Yeah, I would have like opportunity to be stunning him though if they were not here. Yeah. That is a thing, I guess. Let's get a whole bunch of barrier for next round for the bonus damage, I guess. Do we do this? Yeah, sure. It is what it is. Thump, 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 thump. There's the corrosive weaponry again. I definitely want to play that. So my deck is a little bit too many cards. I would like to like draw corrosive weaponry more often, probably. Which one's stronger? One hundred twenty-two, seventy-nine. Middle ground. Next round we're gonna be pretty naked. I really need more meta currency. Like and like throughout the round, I was like always, oh let's take this, let's be stronger against the boss, and like he's just like you know. Really hard to be super powerful against. At least we are somewhat keeping him low armor, right? So this is the first time I was able to keep him low reliably. That's good. Oh, we don't have enough to play that. That's that's too bad. No, not, not that one. Close. Close. Yeah, I don't think I should have switched the phases. But I thought the killing this would give me like re uh, like discounts. I think this is the last turn maybe. Yeah. I'm gonna play this thing there. So we open with something strong. What is this thing? There. Oh, maybe I should have done this first. Oh, you know what? I should have played Faint first, actually. Yeah, the because these give bonus damage. Yeah, okay. Nine three seven one. Okay, do we have? Do we get another turn, or is that it? I think that's it. Okay, cool. We'll check how much I did the summoner last time. But summoner is like a special beast. But this is like a huge score anyway. Like, let's see, true boss damage. Yeah, it's twenty six thousand from the true boss damage. Like comparable to like, definitely was worth it to like try to get much there. We're gonna unlock many cards. And like the cards you unlock is what you need to do even more damage because you will see soon. Okay, so these are just cosmetics, but this is the real thing. Heal for 10 HP, reduce energy cost of three cards on hand by one. Now this is a really good one. But I assume once it flips, it's gonna be worse. Offer 10 armor for three turns. <laughs> Ray of hope, <laughs> disappointment. Loss of fate, offer 25% damage for three turns. So basically you get one energy here for two. For two you get three, but then you lose two energies here. So it's like a net loss. 
Yeah, disappointed. <laughs> Precursor shot. Little hit for 50% damage. Chain. Chain. Multiples the card's effect by number of cards of the same type played in a row during this turn. Okay, so if I can go like arrow, 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 and then I play this one. It's good. It's a decent zero cost card. We need more zero cost cards, basically. Desperate Act. Discard all maneuvers. Still one hit for 0% damage. Damage increased by 50% for each discarded card. Now that's interesting. Discarding maneuvers, not too bad. What is this? One solution. Discard all maneuvers, deal one hit for 0% damage to all enemies. Damage increased. Yeah, it's like a K okay card, but I wouldn't call it like a master combo card. I'm still looking for like a really, really strong combo card. This card's right. Every three hour played in combat gives you one ultimate charge. Now that's interesting. I think that's pretty good. Only once per combat, if your barrier is broken by a fatal blow, you start the next turn with one HP instead of dying. Ah, uh, okay. Interesting. Okay, another cosmetic item. Infinite training. Duplicate the next card play. This is really powerful. If you can play it on something that gives you energy. Hmm. Yeah. Duplicate the next card played, next hit deals plus 25% damage. Ah, it's expensive now though. Oh, downward spiral. Duplicate the next card played, next hit deals plus 100% damage. But it's like super expensive. We need some way to make this free to play. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Maybe it has potential. Yeah, unyielding fever. Draw four arrows, exile. Now that's interesting. That's very interesting. I think that's good. That's really good. Better than starting fevers. Is it better than zero two? Ah, uh, no, it's not. It costs only two though. Yeah, this actually give you ultimate charges, but it costs one though. A mindful progress maneuver. Draw two maneuvers for one. Okay. Draw two maneuvers for one. Peak performance. Pick two cards from the deck. Exile. Ooh, that's good. I like that. I like that card. Every tenth hit in combat stuns the enemy. Okay. There's sitting precision. Every discarded card grants you an additional one ultimate charge, increases the damage of your next hit by 10%. Now that's really good. That's amazing. I like this one. 100 weird shards. Why did we get 100 weird shards exactly? Oh, because we're out of cosmetics, I think. <laughs> Empty while. Oh, no. No. Empty while. We have to check it. I mean, the first one sucked, but then it's probably good. Like, right? Lob shot. Deal 5 hits for 50% damage to random enemies. I don't like random, but if there's only one enemy, might be good. Hope. Duplicate the next card played. It costs 2, though. Why would we play this over the other one? Doom. Draw 2 cards. Their energy cost reduced to 0. Now, this is interesting. I think this card has massive combo potential. I think this might be the key. Because if you like... <sighs> Imagine if you have a couple of these. Like you play Doom, you draw Hope. Yeah, but this all go into graveyard once you play it once. You cannot get an infinite combo. But this, like, reducing energy to zero is, like, insanely powerful. But you would need to have, like, an expensive deck. Like, things which cost two or three and, like, do more of these, actually. Ooh, I like this one, though. Okay. Vampiric arrows, every six hit. Okay, that's cute. Each discarded arrow and spirit arrow reduces armor for all enemies by 10 for three turns. I don't like the three turns thing, but otherwise it's alright, I guess. Some more weird charts. There we go. 
Oh, my bo my best is actually 17,000 with the summoner, so we didn't even get close to that. All uh, right. Leaderboard place 926. Wait, what? Really? So we would be on like page 90. That's not too bad. Not for a run in progress, I guess. Okay. Can I go and see my card? Discoveries. Start over. I really want to see that card. Empty while. Anyway, next time we're going to be playing as a Berserker. Is the last of the first three that we didn't play yet. We're going to be playing on difficulty 7. Final fight, that's going to say the, stay the same. The enemies will not be cruel anymore, but deadly. The, uh, the bosses will become final bosses instead of deadly bosses. And we're going to get a little bit more currency gain. Yay. I'm gonna get smashed, I think. Children of Morrigan, base HP. Berserkers are interrogated when they are heavily wounded, making them most deadly when they are balancing on the verge of death. Okay. While using their ultimate ability, Berserkers gain the power of life still until the end of their turn. The amount of HP they recover with every hit depends on the number of charges they spend. Their ultimate ability is charged with every hit they suffer. Interesting. Very interesting. When you're below 25% HP, gain plus 2 energy. That's insane. What is this? Oh, that's the passive skill. Oh, so you want to stay below 25% HP? Like, dude. Like, you're kidding me right now? Anyway, this will be our next run, the Berserker. Uh, and, well, I'm gonna check the empty vial probably on the internet so I can tell you what it does when they start the next video. I'll probably forget it, though. Anyhow, I wish you all to have a wonderful day. Uh, be kind to each other and let's make the world a better place together. Thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next episode of Tainted Grail Conquest. We're going to be starting the new run with the Berserker here. The new signing out. Bye-bye.